Hello, women of worship. My name is Linda Udicious, and I am enjoying this beautiful day in the Philadelphia area. I have a word for you from the Lord. This morning, I specifically asked the Lord for a word from His heart for His daughters. And so I sat with pen and paper and waited upon the Lord. And this is what He told me for His daughters. He said, they are unique and beautiful, cleverly designed by me to occupy the territory I give them. I strategically place each one in certain areas, anoint each one for a specific purpose. Do not despise your current position. Do not despise your current condition. Do not despise anything about how I created you. I love you with an everlasting love. No one or nothing can ever separate the love I have for you. You are incredible, powerful, amazing, radiant, and full of my glory. Because you are made in my image, and likeness you reflect me now I hope that gives you a different perspective of who you are in Christ you are incredible and amazing and radiant full of his glory you're unique and you're beautiful you are anointed for a specific purpose and you have been placed in a specific area so and you know some these things are temporary also, I mean, the anointing is never, is not temporary. That is something that he gives us generously. And, but the places that he, that he uh, takes us and the people that we meet, you know, that seems to always change. And so we have to um, um, expect God to, um, to move and, and, and we have to be ready to uh, follow his direction. Um, but anyway, this, this word kind of ties in with something that I was thinking about the other day. And I was thinking about how sad it is that, you know, so many women compare themselves with other women. And I believe that this is definitely a trap of the enemy um, to get us feeling sorry for ourselves and, um, and feeling um, um, discontent and dissatisfied with, with who we are and who God created us to be. But, um, you know, so many times we see other women and, and we think, oh, you know, I wish I was more like her. Or I wish I had hair like her or a body like her or um, a house like her, a car like her. I wish I had a husband like hers. You know, sometimes we might even think, oh, I'm glad I'm not like her. And, you know, all these thoughts, I believe, grieve the Holy Spirit. And, you know, we need to be uh, happy and full of joy and content with who we are and who God created us to be. Um, kind of reminds me of a time when my husband and I first got married and my daughter was six when we got married and and um, she was invited by a classmate to uh, come over to their house and play. And um, so I brought my daughter over to her house to meet her parents and see where they lived, make sure it was a safe place and walk into their home. and. It was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they she had the most beautiful furniture, and and it's just her house looked like it came straight out of a, a magazine, and and they lived, just lived on the next block, and and you know after I went home and I walked into my house and I saw all the secondhand furniture and you know the little that we had, and I actually started feeling sorry for myself, and I cried. I cried because. You know, why can't I have nice things? And, you know, why why can't I have, you know, a room full of furniture and especially nice furniture? And, and But then the Lord reminded me, you know, you have more than enough. You are blessed beyond measure. And you're not like everybody else. And you have things that she doesn't have and, and um, things that money can't buy. So, you know, we need to be satisfied with where we're at. Um, and, um, you know, and we need to also remember that Things don't have heavenly heavenly value, and um, you know we can't take those things with us. We know that, you know. But you know what does have heavenly value? 
and you know the Jesus says in uh, Luke uh, 10 27 he says that there are two things um, that we need to be um, that take priority in life and that is to love the Lord our God with all of our heart with all of our soul with all of our strength and with all of our mind and to love your neighbors as yourself so um, I don't have to tell you how to love God I believe you love God with all of your heart with all of your mind with all of your soul with all your strength but sometimes we have a difficult time loving our neighbors as ourselves so how do we do that well we love others the way we want to be loved how we are loved so you know we we want to be encouraged we want to be um, uh, be people to be kind to us so this is what we need to do with our neighbors with our co-workers with the people we go to school with with the, with the cashier at the grocery store with the um, the the customer service person on the phone you know we need to um, be um, patient and kind and loving and um, uh, we need to bless them and trying to find my notes here um, to be helpful and considerate accepting we need we, we need to not be judgmental and um, not to be critical and we certainly can't be jealous and envious um, but to just to love and encourage others and treat them with kindness and gentleness and self-control does that sound like the fruit of the Spirit well um, if you are a child of God and the Holy Spirit lives in you then uh, the fruit of the Spirit is there we sometimes we just have to squeeze it a little and make those juices come out right but um, you know I just want to encourage you to um, you know as we love the Lord with all of our heart mind soul and strength and appreciate who he created us to be and that we are created in his unique image and his um, unique beauty that um, we also love others as we would like to be loved and not compare ourselves with others but appreciate the differences that we have appreciate um, you know where God has taken us from and where he's taken us to and encourage others that you know um, that they are beautiful and that they are loved and that um, you know God has incredible plans for their lives so I just hope this was an encouraging word for you today and um, I just want you to be blessed and um, uh, watch out for more videos on the uh, Wow Women of Worship uh, Facebook page they are amazing women with amazing um, words to inspire you and give you hope and strength and um, I just uh, bless you in the name of our Lord and I wish you a great day bye bye